Hey air signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so air signs, this is a Valentine's Day reading, okay? So let's just see what's going on with your energy, who's in your energy for Valentine's Day this year. It's a very general message, so it might not resonate with you fully. Just take what does resonate, leave what does not for the next person. Um, let's start with the song selection. So I had a hard time finding a song for you guys because I feel like a lot of the songs were repetitive to your energy over the past week or two, the past month, honestly. Um, so I feel like air signs, a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who is holding on to your energy. Not sure how recent or far distant this person is in the past. Um, it could have been a situationship or a full relationship, but there's someone from your past that's holding on to your energy. It's a lot of thinking of you. It's a lot of reminiscing about you. Um, and overall, the song that I came down to was I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. So I really feel as if that song is very significant for some of you guys here. Leave me a comment below if that's true for you. Um, oh, choked up. Okay, so it's, it's like somebody is choked up about you. Okay, look at this. Reconciliation. Reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. We have the mystery card that came out here. We also have hookup, okay? And we have toxic relationship. So I do feel like this might have been like a fling, okay? Some sort of in and out thing or situationship. Someone you were dealing with, but someone wants to reconcile with you. So I feel as if um, there has been no communication with this person, okay? Somebody is also like in their head about who you could be talking to, who you're hooking up with. Um, this is a very toxic person. I feel like for some of you guys, there there could have been some sort of abuse that happened in this relationship. Um, but this person is holding on to you. If they're going to reach out or not, I'm not exactly sure. I know a lot of you guys are looking for new love, but that's kind of just what's crowding your energy right now. So let's see. Spirit, what are the messages we have for my air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, for Valentine's Day. We got magnetic attraction and we have surrender. Okay, so here's the newness that's coming up here. Um, divine intervention, okay, mask. Okay, so I feel like there's someone old, okay, or past and someone newer in your energy this year. Magnetic attraction, surrender. I feel like a lot of you guys are surrendering to this new person. There's something about this, though, that is hidden or secretive here, okay? I'm getting, I'm picking up on, like, some sort of secret admirer, so maybe somebody is, um kind of coming out the blue and letting you know how they feel about you guys this year for Valentine's Day. Let's see, Spirit, other messages for my air signs. Other messages. If you haven't already, you guys, go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it puts your energy in these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. So yeah, text message. You're getting a text message from someone. I feel like for a lot of you guys though, uh, it's kind of comical. I kind of see you guys laughing at whoever is texting you or whatever this message is. Okay, so let's see. We have party here. Yeah, something, I feel like you're taking something or someone as a joke. It's almost as if you may feel as if this person um, has the audacity to send you this message or, ooh, it's something here though. But with this text message in this party, I kind of see you and your friends laughing about a situation, whoever's reaching out to you for Valentine's Day. Okay, we have soulmate here. All right, I feel like somebody could be coming around um, just speaking on how they feel as if you are their soulmate air signs finances okay and then roll the dice somebody wants to take you out someone wants to pay up here i really feel like somebody is kind of like um i'm getting like a risky text message or some sort of risky communication now this could be you sending this to someone else air signs but i feel like um you know this is for someone towards you but flip the energies however it resonates we have between the lines yeah some sort of communication or message comes in and i feel like it just kind of um it kind of shocks you or takes you back here or i don't know it's i'm hearing are you serious so you're questioning if this person is serious or it's almost like a sarcastic like are you serious someone texting you okay we have proposal all right 
underneath party. I feel like this is somebody we have relationship with soulmate. I feel like this is someone that you took seriously at some point in time here. Um, but whatever happened, happened. And it's like now you're free from this energy. You don't see this person the same way. You really don't want to have anything to do with them. But someone is coming in very strong. This could be an actual proposal for some of you guys or just the proposal of going out um, and seeing each other. We got secret crush here. So yeah, I was picking up on a secret crush. With finances, somebody is trying to spend money on you, okay? There is, I feel like a lot of you air signs might have three different individuals in your energy, okay? Like a secret crush, a past person, and someone that's like new, exciting, that it, that's either already here or may be making themselves known the closer we get to Valentine's Day, okay? And then we have crossroads. Yeah, y'all got options. We got roll the dice with crossroads here. So I feel like you don't know who to choose, okay? Um, or who to respond to. I feel like a lot of you guys just find it kind of like hilarious though. Maybe all of these people are coming out of nowhere and that's what's so funny to you, okay? So I feel like maybe your, um, your phone or just your dating life or something has been kind of dry or whatever it is, it's kind of like a lot of different communication for multiple people coming out of nowhere. Magnetic attraction. Yeah, all of these people are attracted to you. Okay, divine intervention again. So let's see. Let's see. Let's go to the tarot. See what the tarot has to say for you guys for Valentine's Day. Five of Wands. Look at this. It's a competition. You got people fighting over you. Okay, air signs. Um, I was picking up on three different individuals. This is the Five of Wands. For some of you, it could be four individuals. It's like people are coming out of nowhere. And I honestly feel like you were kind of getting a kick out of the fact that I don't know. For some reason, it's funny to you. So it could be funny because these are people who tried to play you, who didn't give you the time of day, who weren't serious about you. And it's something about your energy that's attracting them. Five of Wands with the Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody's reaching out here. Knight of Pentacles. For some of you guys, I don't feel like you're entertaining any of these options. Like, I don't feel like you want to go out with any of these people. Um, Seven of Cups here. The Empress. Ooh, the Empress and the Emperor. Ooh. A lot of y'all are shutting down. It's like multiple people are kind of like trying to message you or um, kind of just break the, the ice with you here. But with the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, there's somebody for a lot of you guys, there's somebody in your life. You could be dealing with um, another Libra, a Taurus or an Aries, but we got the Emperor and the Empress here back to back. Okay. Five of Cups four of wands it's kind of like somebody is showing up or has already shown up in your life um the right way i don't know or i'm also hearing the best woman or the best man win so i feel like you're applying pressure i don't know if this is intentionally being done okay if you just truly don't want to be bothered with certain individuals but people feel as if um it's almost like the more that someone or multiple people can't have you the more they try to get your attention so it's just a lot it's a lot going on i feel like it's a lot of people in your energy this um this valentine's day that was the ace of wands okay so it could be a fire sign but it's a lot of people that, that's trying to get close to you a lot of people that are sexually attracted to you okay i don't know if if you're just looking good looking better posting things online here um somebody is sexually fresh oh yeah nine of pentacles with a nine of swords eight of swords somebody is sexually frustrated um in regards to not being able to be intimate with you guys too Okay, about something ending here. It's a lot of past energy. I'm picking up on a bunch of exes um, or just past whatever. And Mercury retrograde is over, but it feels like people are still in their feelings and their emotions, okay, about you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini because that magician card keeps wanting to show. What's going on in the energy of the air sign spirit? We got the death card here. Yeah, this is these are situations that you have like dead it, you've let go of, you don't take seriously anymore. It's people trying to come out from the dead here, trying to like rekindle, reconcile. Um, people just, people are just kind of like I'm getting like social media messages, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, you know, people's numbers you probably don't even have saved anymore. We got the emperor, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, we got the King of Cups. There's somebody very strongly showing up here for you guys too, though. Okay, so I feel like maybe some of you guys were entertaining. Oh, options, maybe you weren't. But in, in the midst of these options or these people that you don't take seriously, I feel like somebody here is showing up very strong. Okay, it could be um, we have Aries, Taurus. It could be any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the Six of Wands, there's somebody coming in and they are applying heavy pressure. What else? We got the Two of Swords. 
Okay, we got the chariot card. I feel like maybe you are standoffish to this person at first, okay? Or maybe you were, or there was some sort of like hesitancy or needed to make a decision. You were kind of on the fence, or if you're, I feel like you're gonna kind of be on the fence about this person. But with the chariot card and the justice card here, um, and the nine of wands, okay? I just, I, I'm feeling like you're picking the best suitor here. Nine of wands and the three of swords. Somebody is in your energy that is wanting to like shower you, okay? Shower you with love, attention, um, reciprocity here, almost like a healing type of energy, okay? This is something that you you haven't, this Valentine's Day might be an experience that you've never had before, okay? In a good way or just a, an experience you haven't had in a while, like a few years of Valentine's Day is what I'm getting here. And we got the magician. What did I say? This card kept trying to come out. Um, so you can have Virgo or Gemini in your chart, okay? Or you could be dealing with one. But what's manifesting is the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card. So you are getting justice from past Valentine's Days, okay? Whatever this is for you, even even if you're spending time by yourself but i don't i don't feel like the majority of you air signs will be because somebody is really showing up um and laying it on heavy for you guys so let's just see what the kipper deck has to say you guys to close up the reading we got the courtship card at the bottom of the deck somebody proposal there's some sort of I do feel like it's a lot of other past energies in your energy air signs, but there's somebody who is sticking out, okay? Somebody who is showing up. Somebody is offering you to go out on a date or a higher level of commitment, okay? If you are in a commitment, I feel like it's a higher level of commitment or it's the beginning to some sort of commitment here. We got the main male, okay? This main male is showing up. We got unexpected income. We got high honor. Look at this. Somebody's trying to put in the work for you. Occupation. We got the gift card, okay? And then we we do have the look at this we got despair this is a past person we got concern this is another past person we got sudden wealth like they are it's past people in your energy that are very concerned about who you are connected with if anybody like they are just going crazy here official person expectations thief i feel like these people just kind of like they missed the boat okay they dropped the ball when it came to you so i'm gonna leave it here um leave me a comment below let me know if this is your message like, share, and subscribe, you guys, and I will see you next time.